Yeah, uh, I think that's been the biggest thing. You know, uh, we got a lot of new faces on the O line, so getting you know getting everybody to continuity and everybody together on the same page. You know, learn the playbook together. You know, it's, I mean, it's all brand new. We got a new uh, O line coach, so the more we do together, the better we'll be as O line. What do you think of the new guy in Barber? Oh, he's a, he's a vet. You know, I know about him just because the past couple of years we were in the same division. So I, I watched him play. You know, he's a he's a great player. You know, he brings even more leadership to the O line. You can never have enough leadership and you know veterans on the O line. So he's a great addition. For, for now, are you gonna? Did they tell you you're gonna stay at the right side? And how's that been going? Uh, I mean, we haven't really talked about it since then. Uh, so right now, I'm just working at it. You know, it's a work in progress. It's not gonna come overnight because I've never done it before. But. Uh, you know, it's going to be a work in progress. You know, I take the challenge on. I'm going to have my good days. I have my bad days. But, you know, I'll, I'll get good at it. Do you mind bouncing from side to side? Or would you rather stay in one side from now till, till the season? What you mean? Like during the season do I want to bounce around? Just from right now. Would you rather stay on the right or do you mind bouncing around? I mean, you always want to find that one spot and then stick to it, you know, as a, a professional. Because, uh, you know, that's how you want to get your reps there to be ready for the season. So um, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, I think I mean, you know the the D line. They know they know when you put the pads on. I mean today, today we had pads on, so you know it's gonna be some banging. You know it's just you just try got to be smart with it. You know you, you expect to have some hard hits and contact, but you just got to keep everybody off the ground. And you know like you said, just take care of your teammates because you know we we enemies in camp, but during the season we all need each other. Pecco was talking about how he liked the, some of the battles you guys have had with the defensive line uh, throughout camp. What, what's just your thoughts on him and, and going against him and what he brings to the defensive line? Oh, he brings a lot, man. I played against him last year, uh, so I, know, I already know what he, you know what he brings to the to the D line. So, you know, when they brought him in, I was real happy because I know he's a, he's a great guy, great player, great leader. So, you know, we've had some great battles, and they're only going to get better. But it's going to help both of us, you know, the O line and D line, get better and get ready for Sundays. When it comes to building chemistry along the offensive line, are there some lessons you learned in Dallas that you can bring here? Man, um, I just try to try to do everything as a group. You know, we were, you know, we're a real tight group in Dallas and that's what we're gonna be here. You know, I feel like the more you do off the field, the better you play on the field together. So, you know, we getting together a lot, doing a lot of stuff together and just, you know, just always talking, you know, just talking ball, just talking about life in general, man. And I think all that's gonna translate. Garrett Bowles seems like his mother doesn't stop. He's dancing, <laughs> he's joking around. It's uh, what's what's the deal with that dude? Man, I'm still trying to figure it out myself. <laughs> but uh, he's a good kid, though, man. He he loves the game and he's always happy. So you know, you know, you you, you need that little juice sometimes. You know, especially when we get into the dog days at camp. So uh, he's still learning. You know, we gotta sometimes reel him in a little bit. But man, I love him. You know, he brings energy to the group, and uh, I'm glad he's here. Yeah, because aren't offensive linemen supposed to be down in the dumps and always in bad moods and all that sort of thing. Well, not not necessarily in the dumps, but you know we're pretty more serious. You know, we don't smile all the time. But hey, I mean, I guess this is new age O line now, man. So that's what he is. But like I said, man, I love him. You know, I'm glad he's here. You know, he's gonna help us out a lot. What's been the improvement that you've seen from your first prep with OTAs coming to Thursday training camp? What's been the improvement that you've seen from the group as a Just a better understanding of the playbook. You know, um, it's a it's a real it's a, a playbook that all of us have to get uh, used to. It's new to all of us, so you know some of the mistakes we were making early in OTAs, you kind of don't see them right now. Or if you see them, it's like on one day, then it's done with. So, you know, just knowing the playbook better. And once we really get the playbook down, it's gonna it's gonna you're gonna be able to play a lot more, more a lot faster. So, and when you play faster, you'll play better. So much is made about the quarterbacks, but the ability to run the football is critical. Is <coughs> how do you guys see that in terms of the whole line's development? I think it's big, you know, they're preaching that we're going to be a, a physical team that's going to run a ball. So I think that's a challenge to all of us that we need to be physical and need to, um, you know, hone in on our technique and knock some people around. Uh, and as far as the quarterback competition, I said it plenty of times. I mean, as long as the O-line do our jobs, we don't care who's under center, you know, they're both of them, we get, both of them good quarterbacks. So whoever takes that snap week one, you know, as long as we do our jobs, they'll look great. You guys uh, ran the ball well in Dallas. Did you guys uh, put on the pads often at like every chance you could? Was that the theory down there? I was wondering if that's the key to maybe the running games, to have those pads on as much as possible. Man, I think it's just, you know, we could run it the same way we ran at Dallas. We got we got the ability to run it here. You know, um, I mean, you know, Dallas, we were that, but 
I mean, I'm in Denver now, man. I love Denver. You know, I love the line we got. You know, we're becoming closer and closer, man. We, if they want us to run the ball, we'll take that as a challenge and run the ball. Yep. Appreciate it. All right.